you push your seat back? Okay. Good girl. Wait, did, how do you, oh, there you go. Oh, we actually have VIP. See VIP. We'll take turns on sleeping. Nap turns. Nap turns. And then, you know. Uh, what are we eating? But the airplane food is in a way. It's the pits. We have to eat. I'm going to have. No, don't have pasta, it's not good pasta. Let's see the menu. There's the beef bobotki. There's the roasted herb chicken and there's the penne pasta. So that sounds like the most appetizing thing. Maybe the chicken. I don't feel like meat though. You don't feel like meat? Why is it doing this? Why am I so airbrushed? Did you put a filter? No. No, it is good though. Just landed. Is the other door open. <laughs> Guys, I'm in Atlanta. It's six o'clock in the morning. It's still dark out, but yeah, super excited to be here. So welcome to my new vlog. I just landed in Atlanta and I'm so excited to be here. I'm here for the YouTube Black Summit. And those of you who don't know what the YouTube Black Summit is, it's literally a summit that is exclusively for black creators, which I think is something that is so amazing. And I'm going to be taking you guys with me on my journey. Let's have fun. Say hey to my oh. Are you excited to be in Atlanta? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, okay. Look at that. I was okay with my basic powder and lipstick in my bag until I saw the candy. And not okay anymore. You look beautiful. I should have removed my makeup, but I forgot my toiletries in my check in luggage. So. No, they, I check them in. So usually I keep like my face clean stuff in my bag. So when I get on the flight, I can remove my makeup. Yeah, because I was shooting. I just got to my room. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of the room before I go downstairs and grab some coffee and some breakfast. It is seven o'clock in the morning, I think by now. So um, yeah, I just wanna have a little bit of a bite before I come back up and rest. First, you walk into the room and this is what you see. Um, if you look to the left, there is a bathroom. The bathroom has a toilet. Um, there's a sink over there mirror towel rack i love that pink hair dryer i think that's so cute another thing that i think is really nice about these rooms that they have a steamer that's quite thoughtful and then there is a shower there's no bath the shower is so nice and spacious and what i also do love is the white towel tiles with the gray detail i think that's quite cute and the whole theme overall the whole black white gray with um touches of cerise pink i think is really really nice like this neon pink and then this is um a door leading to a room next door i presume should it be a family room situation you'd be able to have access to the next room but of course because it's not i don't like this there we go um, there's hangers over there to hang stuff, the aircon control or TV. There's a cute little desk over here with some cool crafty stuff. There's my suitcase. And then this is the view from my room. 
as you guys can see atlanta is literally a city 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 like straight up that is the outdoor i think that's a bar slash pool area i know when i was um walking out of the lift i could see the pool on the other side so yeah and this is the bed and yeah guys this is the room overall um i don't know what else to say i think it's quite a cool room very modern there's also a full body mirror i almost had a heart attack when i walked in here because that bathroom door was closed which covers the mirror so i thought there was no full body mirror until i like yes and this is my fit for the airport i got quite a few nice um comments under a tweet that lassies will put up saying that they like my tracksuit and yeah guys it's from puma i got it at um foot locker when i was in milan and my sneakers are alexandra mcqueen and yeah i'm back at the youtube summit again i'm so happy and i'm so excited to be back here like i'm so grateful i'm so so happy So I just got out of the shower and my eyes are burning because I forgot my face wash, like all of them. I didn't even pack one. So I had to use my feminine, feminine hygiene wash to wash my face because the shower gel of the hotel wasn't giving me, giving me like that clean feeling. And they don't even have soap in this hotel. They just have shower gel, shampoo, conditioner, and that's it. They don't have bars of soap. And now I'm masking with my... Um, L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Blemish Rescue Mask, the blue one. This one. Hey guys, so we are in the streets of Atlanta. Um, we just left the hotel and we are looking for a place to buy a SIM card first and foremost. That is the most important agenda. We need SIM cards so we can all communicate with one another and should we need to request an uber or get any form of transportation we'll be able to do that and then after that i need a target or somewhere where i can get lotion because i forgot to get body lotion hi guys <laughs> we made the vlog how we are you the vlog. i'm so happy <laughs> mommy i did it do you want to introduce yourself so annoying. <laughs> this is uncle scrooge you know me as Uncle Scrooge. Mama now. Hit us up, yo. Thanks, Michali, for putting us in the vlog. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. We I love didn't you, think And that's, and that's a, and the Lassie's way. No, I'm still Lassie's way today. So, y'all, yeah, we are going to. What is that? TBT? ATA. What if the SIM card is 2 million? You know, I found myself swiping 3K for a SIM card and getting it. I wanted to cry and ask him to take it back. Inge Turulakaga. Yo. Please, my show, please. You know what I did? I didn't even ask for the price, so today I'm asking how much is this? Yeah, no, you need to ask for else. Michele, please learn how to do this thing and we are saved. Please. All you need to do is learn how to ride. How much How much further are we going? How much further are we going? We're still going for a kilometer. Straight. Yeah, straight. No. And then we're there. Are no, a kilometer and 200 meters. That's not bad, guys. Not Come on. And then we're still going to walk another kilometer back. But and we're still going to go to Zara. At the same time, uh -huh. there's no other better way to get to Northland. Yes, That's I true. like that spirit. That's the spirit. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> we should get our own. That's a record. Oh, a squirrel. You know, got squirrels in my pants. It's a squirrel. Guys, and then it's champagne. <laughs> I don't think they're violent, are they? They are violent. Girls. Shoot the thing you're scared of. Shoot the thing you're scared of. Guys, I'm not gonna jump on this thing. There's no way. Guys, I don't like thingies. What if I fall and I hurt myself? And then I can't go to the party. So they are But she does have a bit of a point. Let's go, my people. 
You want to receive? You receipt? know, they can request the Uber, mm -hmm. and then we go on the scooter. We'll get there at the same time. Uh, receipt, yes, please. Firstly, you're going to have to drive around and look for a scooter I'm just kidding, first. guys. Oh it's $8. Scooter's right Are the scooters outside? Yes. How much are scooters? Let me see the I think it's a dollar to get on and then nice. 25 cents. Uh, a minute. How much? A dollar to get on and then 25 cents a minute. Oh my gosh, that's cheaper. Guys, look what we found. Crab Queens. Is it even open? It is open. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Nelly. You're welcome. We're having some snow crab, potatoes, sausage, corn. Oh my gosh, no. So we didn't have that time. Stop it. Stop it. So yeah, you guys are gonna be eating with me. I'm so excited. Put it here. I have Oh, 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 Guys, so I'm in Target and it is huge. It's so big. I came here to get some stuff. I need a hairbrush. I need some body lotion. I also need some face wash because I actually forgot to get my face wash. So right now I'm in the makeup. Oh my god, they have pixie stuff. So cool. They have CoverGirl and then they have other brands that we also used to. But I have some Milani makeup as well. Guys, this is just like so cool. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna do some shopping and yeah, I'll catch up with you guys. Look at the shade selection. This is so unfair. We don't have this. Oh my God. I just came back to my room to find this gift from YouTube. It says, welcome to Atlanta. So there's um, HGC apparel socks. There's Coca-Cola. I didn't even know Coke is, um, Atlanta is the home of Coca-Cola. There's a yearbook, YouTube black yearbook. I'm so excited guys to be here. Like I can't even express it. There are so many creators here. Literally guys, like, Oh my gosh, I can't even go through everyone right now. I love her. Latoya Forever is also here. De'Aaron and Ken are here as well. Who else is here that I absolutely love? Jackie, I now auntie. Jagger, 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 Jagger. I love her so much. Um, who else? There's Diera, love her. There's Arnell and Alyssa. I absolutely love them. There's Alyssa. Here I am. This is me. I call Cox at KwaZulu Natal South Africa home. My first YouTube video ever posted was the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. Spontaneous defines my life. My friends call me Mimi. My favorite YouTube video ever. Any video, but any video, Jackie Anna Pujita is my spirit animal. Oh, guys, if I could travel anywhere, I'd go to London, United Kingdom. It was Paris, but YouTube made that dream a reality in June 2019. Literally, oh! I'm literally like, I feel like a kid in a candy store. Let me show you guys my Air Forces. I have, no, I don't have much time to get ready also. Here is my Google, um, I don't understand how this works. And then what's this? Um, advanced petition program. This is just the, the user guide on that. Let me show you guys my Air Forces from Google. I can customize them. I would never do this myself because I can't draw for shit. 
but um, these are pretty cool and I think I might just wear these tonight with my outfit <laughs> I'm going to head off now and I'll meet you guys on everything that's happening. I feel like I'm going to sleep on my own. Pretty little music to my head. Open up the pizza. Wait. Girl, I'm going to eat some. Put the pizza. Put the pizza. Pizza. Hey guys, so I know today has been a shaky day, it's been a crazy one. So we rushed, we had an early morning, we had breakfast, we came to um, a market somewhere in Atlanta. I'm not too sure we're going to take the vacation. This is where all the summer tours are outside. I know, and I'm only going to use. Then I think should say Lana. Are we actually allowed to play? Yeah, we are. Let's play games, guys. Alrighty. Thank you. Okay. Sweetie. Wait, so the, the, the Google Pixel phone, does it like work? Can you text and stuff? Yeah. Uh, like, take, take a Google yes! I told you. We can't see your phone. How, how can you text? And, like, if it is connected to your phone. Alright, let's go. Ooh! Oh! Tickets. Oh. Did I lose my. Oh, yes, pray, Alona. Each of us side water water. She hot, right? Yeah. Mm. Hey, hey, Hadi. How are you, Hadi? You're beautiful. <laughs> Kelly, let's go. Kelly wants more food, guys. Sky is out here looking like a snack, looking like a whole three course meal. You're funny. Am I? Oh, thanks. Oh no, she, yeah, definitely, baby. Giving credit to the copyright owner doesn't give you the right to use copyrighted work unless the copyright holder has authorized the use. Okay. Um, so we are going to be talking about the copyright of 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 the The young creative society. Yeah, these young. Ah, Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 y
and you know my passion is my mental health foundation. So you know, I'm just trying to keep that afloat. But they're able to interact with and you watch their content. Do you want a chair, Derek? Or you want to stand or you want to sit? You I'm so excited. I'm about to get my first ever card reading. I've never had a reading before. The only thing I've done is to see a medium. So, yeah, let's do it. So, I just got back um, to my room from getting my reading done. And as you guys can see, I'm very emotional. I came straight up to my room after the reading because I was literally holding back tears the entire time during the reading. Basically, what she did was um, she gives you the deck and she's like, shuffle it. So you shuffle it and she's like, if any card falls out, like the first card to fall out, leave it on the table. Don't put it back into the deck. So one card fell out and she was like, cheese, this is a good one. And I was like, what do you mean? She was like... This represents um, power, success, and money. So I was like, Whew, okay, that's a good experience. She made me split the deck into three, and then I, I had to stack them up in the order that I'd like, and then she picked cards. She laid them on the table. I don't know how she picked. I don't know how she did it, but she laid them. A couple of cards on the table, and she sort of told the story based on the way she positioned the card and what each card represents. Um, the first one was that there's a partnership, be it a, a romantic one or a career one that I'm currently struggling with because the second card was it represents a struggle. Then the devil card also came up and it had two people on it, okay, who are chained together. So she was like, this could speak to the first card or it could be an internal thing. So either there's an evil or a not so positive relationship that I'm currently in, be it um, work related or an intimate relationship. And it could also mean the devil being my own internal fears, my own doubts and stuff like that. Things that are basically holding me back from reaching my full potential. And then there is the future, the last four cards she felt, well the last five she felt symbolize the future. So basically in, in essence what she said was that... Um, Based on what she sees for my future is that I'm someone who's extremely hardworking and ambitious and whatever struggles that I'm currently facing, which is in reference to the second card, will come to an end and I'll get to a point where I have a positive um, relationship. She, you know, got to a point where she was like, okay, I think these are very career orientated. I'm trying to show you guys the lover's card, but it's not focusing. With the lover's card is that I'm going to, I'm going to put to death whatever is hindering or whatever is testing my career and um, my ambitions at the moment 
and a very fruitful relationship is going to come out of it at the end there will be struggles on the way which is this which symbolizes the struggles are the guy who's holding a whole bunch of swords by himself you know there's going to be struggles on the way but it's going to be very fruitful so she just spoke on how um i mustn't doubt myself and I must never be in fear of where I'm going to end up because I'm really on the right path and as much as people may look at my life and be like oh she has it all together we all go through our ups and downs so for me to have a reading that's that speaks so much to my career in a positive way it's extremely you know moving and um yeah it just makes me very happy to know that I must just keep on on pushing and I must just you know continue doing what i'm doing because i'm on the right path and this is what this is my destiny basically so i'm really happy and besides that reading this whole experience has really motivated me i think being around so many people that i look up to and um you know meeting people has really pushed me to do the best that i can for my youtube career so I'm so happy to be here and I'm really happy I did that reading. I think I really needed that extra push. Yeah guys, sorry for being a baby. But um gosh, I feel really blessed and I'm really grateful. And I also want to say thank you to you guys, of course, because I don't think I would be here if it weren't for you and obviously God's grace. You guys have really pushed me and you continue to do so and I'm really grateful for that. And thank you for the endless endless support and you know always having my back and just being such amazing amazing supporters and such amazing subscribers i really do love and appreciate you guys so thank you and then if you guys need to put your stuff anywhere the gentleman over in the white t-shirt by the locker is handing out for Guys, Michelle is wearing a full outfit. I thought we were going out for dinner. She's I wearing a whole know. full outfit. We're skating. She's skating. I didn't know we were coming skating. I thought we were going out for dinner. So, but anyway, we're at the cascade, guys.
I got my nails done. This is Bellagio Nail Bar. It's quite dope. Um, they do nails really well and the service is also really good. This is how my nails look. Oh, don't mind that. Skewering. Love them. Right now, I'm... Oh, my sunglasses are here. I'm walking, looking for a place where I can buy a adapter. Five Guys Burger and Fries. Never heard of them. There's so many fast food restaurants, that's so crazy. But they have wings okay let me first get my adapter but yeah anyway our plugs don't fit into here so i need to charge my camera battery because this is the last battery that i have and it's about to um get done and then i also need to what else do i need to do i need to eat i haven't eaten the whole day where am i going i haven't eaten the whole day my hangover was really killing me so yeah, I need to get some food. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys and a little bit later.